hello guys are you somebody that you love pork feet or pig feet that's how some people call it in my dialect we call it pracontre <laughs> guys then just relax and watch this video to the end and you will love it you will prepare your homemade salted pig feet guys enjoy this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new to this channel guys and don't forget the notification bell and be part of em family i love you relax and watch this video to the end ciao hello viewers i welcome you back to my channel if you are new to this channel i will ask you to relax and watch this video to the end my name is Ira Mamosi, a mother of three and i live in uk guys in this new video i'm going to show you how you can prepare your own brown <laughs> that's how we call it in ghana pork feet salted pork feet so just relax and watch this video till the end so that you will know how I prepare my salted pork feet which is called Pao Kwan Chur Ewo Ghana Castle <laughs> So let's start I have my ingredients here I have my salt, I have my have this salt flour I have my gloves, grains of salem and my bay leaves that's all that you need and I have my pork feet here so we are going to wash this nicely. Let's go. I'm going to wash it with vinegar, guys. I have my apple cider vinegar here. I'll pour some to it and I'll wash it nicely. So I will wash it. I'm going to use this bowl for my homemade pork feet. Salted pork feet, guys. So I will wash it quickly. I hope you have remembered back home guys. Let's go. When you use this Falcon Chest. Falcon Chest. <laughs> when you use it for your soup, guys, you will bite your tongue. Or you, I will use it for my you, you will know how I will share that recipe with you. So definitely, you will know what I will use this from a real pot. Let's go. So, I'm done washing it now. Now it's time for us to add our ingredients. We're going to add my ingredients to it. Also, I will be adding my Habiscus flour. Maybe somebody will ask why am I adding habiscus flour to this recipe? Normally in Ghana they use food color to color it so that that's why when you buy your pork feet you can see that the pork feet is red. So I decided to add habiscus flour because I want that color. So that's why I'm using that habiscus flour. So now I'm adding my salt. So that I am I've mixed it. I'm using the sea salt and the fine salt as well. Guys, look at that. We are done. So, for me to get the color, I have to add some water to it. Look at that. I hope you can see the color has even started. Can you see that? So, I'm going to leave this for three days so that the salt will penetrate well. And the, in, the rest of the ingredients as well. So when it's three days, I'm going to show you guys. Praponcha. <laughs> Praponcha. Homemade Praponcha. Try this recipe. Then you will thank me later. God bless you for watching. Guys, uh, it's day three. And we are going to check how our pig feet is looking. We prepared this and we leave it for three days. So after three days, I'm going to open to show you guys how our picture is looking you can see from the color if you want to have your pracontre like that authentic way the way you have it in back home or in ghana this is the best method for you to follow guys can you see that look at the color i hope you guys can see let me transfer it here for you guys let's go
Here we go. I hope you can see how my take state is looking. And if you like, you can use the same method that I used without the hibiscus flower. That one will make your pork feet taste nice as well, guys. So this is the outcome. You can, if you like, you can use a uh, food color. But I prefer to use hibiscus flower to do my pig feet, and it tastes yummy and it's very healthy that is why i prefer to use hibiscus flour to prepare my pork feet with this you can use it for soup you can use it for pig feet stew i have the one that i did without the hibiscus flour that one when i'm using it for stew or soup i will show you guys and it tastes perfect it's the same taste the same aroma <laughs> guys i hope you can see so you are somebody that you like pig feet salted pig feet this is the best method to use to prepare your pig feet and also if you are new to this channel i will ask you to hit the subscribe button to be part of em family if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then i don't know what you are waiting for guys if you need healthy way of living if you want healthy way of using your vegetable oils there's no other place to check irama moses youtube channel guys and you will love our recipes our recipes are unique guys if you haven't subscribed guys i will ask you to subscribe don't forget to comment your comments are very important to me guys comment share and like my videos guys let me know what's up if you want any recipe or anything that you think it will benefit my channel or it will benefit you we can share together as well guys also if you have a business and you want me to promote your business for you i'm available i can do it on my whatsapp status i can do it on my youtube channel for you with a little bit fee guys <laughs> i'm joking guys i'm so kind i can just do it for you for free guys somebody when i was doing my graduation i remember somebody did my hair my uh, another person sold my dress for me i have to promote that guys don't forget if you haven't watched my graduation video go on my channel is there go and watch like my dress that i wore that day for my graduation or the hair that the recap you can contact those people that i put their details on my channel and they will make you proud they will make you proud guys their names are Cecilia and abigail tamakro mrs bakope <laughs> guys don't forget to subscribe and hit the subscribe button i will see you in my next video